kid rips her tooth out. One more time, I'll scream. Morning, Susan. Morning. Hi, Susan. Hey, Jerry. They're doing a crash section in OR10. Hell, I'm the last back. Morning, Susan. Morning, Doctor. Oh, please tell me you had a quiet night. Well, let's see. The uh, 34 weaker in bed four had to be intubated. The post op in bed 10 spiked a temp, and the post op open heart is having trouble with his blood pressure. How's that for quiet? Well, if you're on a nitpick. That's for you. All right. Can I see you? This is Lansing. Yes, I understand. Yeah, I got it last night. Look. Look, I take care of my patients first, and then I fill out all these forms you keep sending me. Look, is this... Can I ask you a question? Is this a matter of life or death? Well, sorry, but around here, everything else comes in a roaring second. Have a nice day. Oh, save us from the bureaucrats. Present company excluded, of course. Oh, speaking of bureaucracy. Oh, don't tell me. Afraid so. She's on her way over from Ellington Community. Hey, I'm stretched to the limit. Why can't they keep her? The kids spiked a fever, ear infection. You can guess the rest. They want to dump her before it gets serious. Exactly. She'll be your first pediatric AIDS case. Annie Marston, eight weeks old. Mother? IV drug abuser disappeared two days after the baby was born. Annie also came into the world with a heroin habit. She's already gone through withdrawal. Not a great start for little Annie. Not a great finish either. At least she won't live long enough to find out what her mother did to her. You have such a sunny way of looking at things, Alice. Hey, your job is to tuck her in a crib and break a fever. My job is to find her a foster home with loving parents. Which one of us has a better chance? What do you want? Susan, OR on line one, the open heart's on the way out. Oh, uh, get her settled in. I'll check her later. Look, we have the lowest mortality rate of any pediatric ICU in the state. And I want to keep it that way. Well, tell your bean counters I'm not going to double up on patients. Case closed. Cat gas on her. She's looking a little dusky. Well, she came in with a temp, but her sats are okay. It's more than that. She's retracting. She's got nasal flaring. She's obviously compromised. Well, she was born compromised. I don't want her to crump while we're standing here. Let's get a blood gas. Look, the resident's been up all night, so I want you to put this right under his nose. Don't let him sit on it without an answer. He's going to want to give her oxygen. Hang in there, sweetie. Hey. Hey. Can I take the car? Where are you going? To the movies with the guys. Okay. As soon as you finish cleaning out the garage. As soon as I finish? When did I start? About two months ago. Right before your 16th birthday. Mom, can't it wait? We don't even use the garage. Uh, well, we could if you didn't have all your junk in it. Okay. I'll do it tomorrow. Fine. You can walk to the movies. What's with you, Mom? What's the big deal about the garage all of a sudden? Why don't you take a look and find out why it's got Jeep, not an airplane. Will you please slow down? It's great, Mom. How'd you manage to scrape up the cash? I scraped. I meant to have it by your birthday, but I had to scrape a little harder. You can let go of the dashboard now. You really like it, honey? Nah, I hate it. Yeah, I like it. I love it. 
Did Coach Carmen call you today? No. Why? He said that uh, College Scout was asking about me. College? You're only a junior. David, that was not a full stop. That was a full stop. That was a rolling stop. What college? Tulane. Oh, that's so far away. I can hardly believe you're old enough to drive, much less to live thinking of colleges. Look out for the guy on the bike. I see him. Will you? Happy birthday. Did she ask for help? No. I want you to hold this baby more, Edna. She needs human contact. Don't tell me how to do my job. I shouldn't have to. This baby is going to die. All the human contact in the world isn't going to change that. When is she going to die, Edna? Tonight? Tomorrow? You know what I mean. So, because she might die, she shouldn't be touched or held or loved? I never said that. It is your job to take care of this little girl, Edna. Now, if you continue to neglect her, that job is in jeopardy. I am not neglecting her. I'm uncomfortable with her. Yes, so is everybody else. She's HIV positive, for God's sake. You're supposed to be a professional. Do your job. I think you're obsessed with this patient, Susan. Is that being professional? Isolation. Excuse me. The patient is a nine-week-old girl whose mother contracted AIDS through intravenous drug use. Child tested HIV positive at birth, T-cell count is lower than normal, and she has suffered ear and nasal infections. Prognosis? She's probably infected and will most likely die from pneumonia or some other opportunistic infection. Why? When a baby's immune system is compromised, a simple cold can turn into a fatal illness. Elaine, what's the course of treatment? Prophylactic antibiotics to ward off pneumocystic pneumonia. Septera, also ampicillin for the ear infection. Okay, let's move on. I get a big algebra test tomorrow. Hmm. I'll probably fail it. Then I'll drop out. Maybe I'll get my nose pierced. Mom. Hello, Mom. What do you mean you're failing algebra? <laughs> I'm not failing algebra. Why are you acting so weird tonight? I'm sorry, honey. We just got our first HIV baby at the hospital, and I can't stop thinking about her. Mom, give it a rest. You're not at the hospital now. You don't have to worry about babies with AIDS during dinner. I better go study. Do good on your test. Okay. David? Yeah? Don't get your nose pierced. I'll think about it. David? What? She doesn't have AIDS. She has the virus that causes AIDS. Do you know the difference? Yeah, I know the difference. Lighten up, will you?
No, no, you can't get the virus through a baby's tears. Nurse Malinson, please call the operator. Nurse Malinson, call the operator, please. Look, I can't promise you that, but... The Marston baby? Can't say I'm surprised. No one wants a baby who's going to die. Oh, what'll happen to her? Well, she'll probably end up at Tremont. They'll have a bed in three weeks. <sighs> Tremont? For Annie? Emergency admitting. Yes, if all else fails, which it probably will. Oh, Alice, Tremont's a dumping ground. You know that. Well, Susan, what else am I supposed to do? She can't stay here forever. She's got to go somewhere. Well, you can't dump her at Tremont. Okay. Where do you suggest I dump her? Well, I'm not suggesting you dump her anywhere. There's got to be a foster family out there somewhere that'll take her in. Isn't that your job? Hey, Susan. You want to get on this phone and try to find a foster family for her? You want to convince someone to take a baby that can give them a terminal disease? Be my guest. I'm sorry, Alice. Oh. Hey, Jerry. Susan. It's good to see you. How are things at university? Busy, same as always. I have a patient who may be transferred here. Brain damaged? HIV. Yeah, we've seen a few of those cases. Could I take a look at your pediatric ward? Come on. I hope you've gotten more stoic since nursing school. You've got a hard job, Jerry. These kids have it a lot harder. How long does it take to find foster care for these children? Susan, this is Tremont. These children aren't waiting for foster homes. They're waiting to die. Susan, what do you think I'm doing in here? Writing postcards? I went to Tremont this morning. Why? <sighs> Just to see for myself. Can't send her there, Alice. She deserves better than that. Every kid deserves better than that. She hadn't gained an ounce of weight. She knows nobody's fighting for her. Susan, nobody wants a child with HIV. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's just the way it is. Nobody wants her. I want her. What? I want her. What do I have to do to be a foster mother? Girl, get a grip. I can't let you do that. Well, it's not up to you. You just can't take home every kid with a hard luck story. Alice, you said it was your job to find her a foster home. You just did. Now, what do I have to do? A baby? 
I know it sounds a little crazy. A little? Mom, isn't it bad enough that you're around sick babies all the time at work? Do you have to bring one home? I'm good at taking care of babies, David. That's what I do. But why can't she stay at the hospital? Why do you have to bring her home? I'm not talking about being Annie's nurse. I'm talking about being her mother. That's what she needs. What's going to happen when this baby gets AIDS? It's going to be hard. I can't pretend that it won't. Then what's going to happen when she dies? David, she needs us. She needs a home. She needs a family. And I need you if this is going to work. What do you say? I say it's going to happen no matter what I say. Now what? Now you wait. The forms have to be processed. You have to get approved, which you will. Maybe a few weeks. And when you get her, the state will pay you monthly for child care. More when she starts to really get sick. Why are you doing this, Susan? Because I want to. Because she needs a place. Even if it is just a place to die. Why does it bother you so much? Susan. You're my friend, and I don't want to see you get hurt. You're asking for a broken heart. Maybe, but she's worth it. You just have to be sure you wear rubber gloves whenever you come into contact with her bodily fluids. Hello? All right, I'm looking for a babysitter. Well, I'm bringing the baby home on Monday. Great. There is just one thing you should know. The baby is carrying the HIV virus, but there's really very little risk, and she's just adorable. Right. Oh, I understand. Thanks anyway. You're never going to find anyone. Yes, I will. Mom, trust me on this. As soon as you mention the words bodily fluids and rubber gloves, they're going to hang up. Dorothy Kilgore. Hi, this is uh, Susan Lansing. I'm calling about your babysitting ad. Right. Look, uh, could you come by for an interview? Great. I appreciate you coming out here on such short notice. Uh, wait, uh, just a minute. Could you take one cube out? There's too many make my teeth hurt. Is that all right? Uh, it's a little sweet, but don't worry about it. So, well, I suppose you want to know what kind of experience I've had. That seems like a good place to start. Well, I've never done it before. Uh, not for money, mind you. But I raised three kids of my own. Good kids. And I take care of their kids, too, when they need me. Which isn't often enough. Anyway, there's nothing I haven't been through with the young ones. Is it just the one child? I have a son, a teenager. He's very independent, so you won't have to worry about him. He's a very sweet boy. You'll like him. Yeah, that remains to be seen. My foster daughter is uh, 12 weeks old. Her name's Annie. And your husband? Oh, I'm divorced since uh, right after my son was born. So you raised the boy by yourself? Yes. And now you're going to raise a new one by yourself? Yes. Right. One thing. I'm not a maid. I won't be cooking or cleaning or picking up after your teenager. I don't care how sweet he is. I look after the baby and that's that. So you'll take the job? Well, aren't you offering it? Well, yes, I... Yeah, well, then I'm taking it. Now, when do I start? 
Uh, well, right away would be good. Look at that little girl. She likes it here. There are some things we need to go over. I'm all ears. Annie is uh, very delicate. If anything happens, if she gets a cold or a fever, you have to call me right away. And whenever you change her, whenever you come into contact with any of her bodily fluids, especially blood, you have to wear these. Does this child have AIDS? She doesn't have AIDS yet, but she is HIV positive. You should have told me. I should have, I know. I wanted to, but... But you knew I'd say no? You wanted me to see her and like her and want to take care of her. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it to be like this. Six months ago, I buried my husband. I lost him to cancer. I'm not going to watch someone else die. No, I don't want to go through that again. I'm sorry I wasted your time, Mrs. Kilgore. I'll pay you for the day. It's not that I don't like children. Don't get me wrong. I like them better than all the grown-ups I know, including me. Did her mother have it? Yeah. Poor child. Look, maybe I could help you out for a little while. Well, until you get somebody else. Okay? Okay. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, just one thing. You don't have to lie to me. I don't like it. I can take the truth. Right. Come on, then. Is this how it's gonna be? She's got a fever. She can't help it. I gotta be up in three hours. So do I. She'll settle down. Don't worry. This is just great, man. Good morning. Long night, was it? Forgot it could be like this. Oh, yes. Yes, night after night after night. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> I remember now. This must be himself. Excuse me? You're excused. Mom? Dorothy, this is my son, David. David, this is Dorothy. She's going to be taking care of Annie on my work days. The pleasure is mine, I'm sure. What's going on here? Mom, you know I was going to have to get somebody in to help out. I know, but you don't even tell me. I come downstairs and there's a stranger Sorry, in the kitchen. There's so much going on. I noticed. Now, look, you be nice to her, understand? I cannot afford to lose her. What is this? The Brady Bunch? Oh. Don't mind, David. He's having a little trouble adjusting. Oh, I'll adjust him all right. Well, I'll handle it, thank you. Oh, gosh, I'm late. Uh, call me if she even sniffles. Uh, your mother just called. She's going to be a few minutes late, and I can't stay. Wait, but now uh, don't panic. She said she won't be long. And I kept Miss Annie up all afternoon, so she should sleep right through till your mother gets here. It better be soon. I've got tickets to see the She-Devils at the dungeon tonight. It sounds charming. 
Now, if she does wake, just give her a bottle. Uh, you know how to warm it, don't you? I'm not a complete moron. A yes or no will do nicely. I think so. Right. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for the warning. I heard that! she cries you're the expert why was she crying well maybe her ear hurt or she was hungry or wet or maybe she just wanted somebody to pick her up and you're too selfish to do it i did pick her up she screamed her brains out i put her back down and she screamed some more how am i supposed to know what to do with her you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that a baby needs attention you know it's not my fault that she cries it's not my fault that she's sick it's not my fault that she's even here that kid is not my problem what is your problem david my problem is that you were supposed to be home two hours ago i missed a concert that i've had tickets to for three weeks well, i'm sorry i got hung up at work it couldn't be helped i'll make it up to you okay you're blowing it mom you're blowing everything over that kid Yes. Annie, you are becoming a beautiful young lady. You're so brave. I wish I were this brave when I have to give blood. <laughs> She's still getting fevers and ear and sinus infections. Well, it might be nothing. It might mean her immune system is weakening. At least her lymph nodes aren't swollen. No runaway thrush in her mouth. No bad flus or pneumonia sitting in her chest. Is she having any trouble tolerating the antibiotics? No. Oh, good. Would you check her weight, please? Shouldn't we test her again when she's 18 months and her immune system's mature? We will. But I wouldn't get my hopes up, Susan. Her T-cell count is still below normal, and with her infections, well, not everything points to HIV. But I will schedule her for a P24. Is that new? <laughs> Brand new. Won't even be available till next month. It looks right at the virus, not just the antibodies. Give us a better idea of where she is. Did I tell you I filed adoption papers? <laughs> I knew you would. I'm very happy for you, Susan. Done a very good job. She's very lucky. Oh, I'm the one that got lucky. I thought we invited a lot more children than this. We invited every kid in the neighborhood. Anyway, I think it's time for the cake. Okay. <laughs> Who wanted some popcorn? There you go. Here you are, Annie. Whee! <laughs> oh. Oh, wee. Alice! I thought you are just in time for the cake. <laughs> I was afraid you weren't going to make it. Well, something came up. I can only stay a minute. Oh, no. I'd put you in charge of the game. <laughs> oh, she looks so happy. Has it really been a year? To the day. Can I talk to you? Sure. Did I do something wrong with the adoption papers? No. No, the papers are fine. The mother. The mother wants her back. What? Linda Marston showed up out of the blue. She wants her daughter back. Linda Marston, you gotta be kidding. I wish I was. 
Fellas, she hadn't even laid eyes on Annie since she gave birth. She can't do this. She abandoned her. You can do it, Susan. There's going to be a hearing. She's a drug addict. She's got AIDS. Well, she claims to be free of drugs now, and the fact that she has AIDS will never enter into oh, it. Oh, come on, that, Alice. That information is protected under her right to privacy. <sighs> Nobody called me. Nobody told me anything. Don't I have a say in this? You're the foster mother, Susan. You don't have any legal rights. Linda is her mother. I'm her mother. I'm going to fight you on this, Alice. I know you will, but you can't win. Oh, Susan. you don't think so? When is this hearing? It doesn't matter when it is. You can't be there. It's closed. Closed to me? That's not fair, Susan, Alice. Susan, none of this is going to be fair. Who's representing her? You. happy she is here. You see this is her home. How can you do this to her? It's not me doing it. This is my job. Your job should be to make sure she has the best home. My job, Susan, is to represent the birth mother. I don't like it, but I don't have any choice. I don't have any choice. Let me hear from the social worker. Your Honor, Linda Marston has successfully completed a drug rehab program and has tested clean for drugs for the past six months. She has applied for aid for families with dependent children. She's got an apartment and she wants to be reunited with her daughter. I understand the foster mother's petition for adoption. I'm not giving up my kid. Please let your caseworker answer for you. Ms. Marston has stated she has not terminated her parental rights and will never voluntarily do so. Is there any reason why Ms. Marston and her daughter should not be reunited immediately? Your Honor, the state recommends that we begin only with supervised visiting privileges. I want to visit her. I want her back. While the court reviews the case. I'll review the case for judgment. You'll have my decision in 10 days. In the meantime, supervised visitation privileges are granted. Next. Don't you want to hold her? I can see her okay from here. What does she, uh, what kind of things does she like to do? She likes to go to the playground. She likes to color. She likes to... She looks good. I mean, she... She doesn't look sick. She gets fevers, infections. I mean, sick the other way. Yeah, I know what you mean. She might not get sick for a long time. How old are you, Annie? She's 16 months. I think I know that. I was asking her. Are, are you this many? Mom. I don't want her calling you mama. I'm her mother. I'm the only mother she's ever known. What do you think she's going to call me? I don't care what she calls you. I don't want her calling you that. Well, you should have thought of that when you left her at the hospital. Don't you judge me. You don't know nothing about it. You, you weren't there when I had her. You don't know what my life was like. All so I just... know is you weren't there to take care of her when she needed you. Where were you the last year? This isn't going to work. You should pick your enemies a little more carefully. Push it, didn't you? Oh, please. That woman's not fit to be Annie's babysitter, much less her mother. She has legal rights, Susan. <sighs> Alice, why is she doing this? 
Why? The woman hit bottom. She looked around and asked herself, what do I have? And the answer was nothing. Nothing except this little girl. Oh, how very touching. Whose side are you on? I can't take sides. I have to follow the law. Well, I can't believe the law would ever give custody to that woman. No way. Well, that woman just went to court and won the right to take Annie on an overnight visit. Unsupervised, she told the judge she couldn't visit her daughter in such a hostile environment. She told the judge? Or you told the judge? Oh, Susan, you can't blame me for this one. If you'd just been civil to her, this never would have happened. It's not right. Annie hardly knows her. Well, I think that's going to change. This is her schedule. I have everything down here that she'll need. I'm not stupid. I'm not saying you are, but Annie can't tell you what she needs or what she likes. That's right. Like, she doesn't drink apple juice, only orange. Uh, and she likes dinner special cup. Did you put the cup in? Yeah, and she likes three books before she goes to bed. I put her favorite ones in the bag. What else? Uh, she, uh, she's pretty good lately about sleeping through the night, but if she cries or even coughs, I want you to call me. I don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning. Call Alice again. Three times. She's out in the field, whatever that means. Maybe this Linda just lost track of the time. Oh, she's not stupid that one. She may be sleazy, but she knows what she's doing. She's taking her somewhere, Dorothy. I know it. Now look, you're driving yourself crazy. And me along with you. Now just wait until Alice calls back and let her handle it. She's still not back. I was bringing you a sandwich. Mom's pretty worried, huh? That she is. I think this is an emergency. All right, all right. Well, just have her call me as soon as you can, please. Should be alright, Mom. What are you doing? I'm gonna go to the hospital. Camp in her office if I have to. Mom, I really don't think that's such a good idea. Look, David, give me the keys. I don't think you should drive right now. Give me the keys. I said David. I don't think you should drive right now. I'll drive. If you won't tell me where she is, just call the police and tell them. She's not missing, Susan. She's just a little late, that's all. She's five hours late. She'll be back. How do you know, Alice? You could be halfway to Canada for all you know. Why am I even talking to you? I'll call the police myself. Susan, Susan, you're getting hysterical. Besides, we can't report her missing until after 72 hours. Well, what the hell is the point of a 24-hour visit if you can't enforce it? And how can you just sit there? You're the one who drove off with my daughter and that airhead junkie. Where did you take her, Alice? I want to know. Officially, I cannot tell you oh, that. Oh, for God's sakes, Alice. 
Forget you're a bureaucrat for two minutes. You've known me for 14 years. Officially or unofficially, just tell me. I'm late for a meeting. end of the car. It's all right. I'll be right down. You got a little nerve, you know that? Or are you just so brain dead from drugs you can't tell time anymore? God, look at this pigsty. Yep. It's the maid's day off. Too bad we can't all live in a nice house in the suburbs, huh? Yeah, too bad. I guess you're just one of life's little victims. Hey, I don't have to take any bull from you. Just get the hell out of my house. Gladly. And don't think Annie's ever coming back here. Court or no court. Don't you threaten me. She's my kid. Don't forget that. I'm getting her back. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. People like you make me sick. You think just because you got money, everything gets handed to you, in including other people's heads? Nothing ever got handed to me. I worked for everything I ever got. I wasn't out on the street corner banging dope with dirty needles. Who the hell do you think you are? You don't know a damn thing about my life, so quit acting like you do. For your information, I've been clean for six months. How many junkies do you know who could quit cold turkey? I don't know any junkies, frankly. I only know what it does to their children. Go to my office. No. Tell me right here. What's the decision? The judge awarded custody to Linda this morning. <sighs> Damn you. Me? Yes, you. You helped her. You know damn well who's more fit to raise Annie. You know she's better off with me, but you helped that, that drug addict take her away. Now look. I warned you from the beginning that you were setting yourself up for a broken heart. This is how the system works. You don't like it, blame the system. Don't blame me. People like you are the system, Alice. You've given up. You just don't want to accept responsibility. It's not your problem. Just chalk it up to the system. You let yourself get emotionally involved with the patient. That's unprofessional and against the rules, and you know it. To hell with the rules, Alice. Somebody had to get emotionally involved with that little girl. If not me, who? Am I supposed to just watch while she gets dumped in the trash heap? Who's going to take care of these kids? Who? You took responsibility for this child. That's more than most people would do. But along with that, you took the risk that someday you would lose her, whether it was to her natural mother or the state or AIDS. No one hid that from you. You just didn't want to see it. I didn't want this to happen, Susan. You have to believe me. I'm gonna lose my baby. Are you serious? 
totally. I don't know if I can handle this one, Ma. I mean, really. She's... I can't think of anything else to do, David. Do you want me to lose Annie? Do you want to lose her? No. Then do this with me, David. Help me. Have you gone completely out of your mind? Do you have a better idea? Well, you can't trust someone like her. You know that. Well, what else can I do? It'll never work. We have to at least try, Dorothy. What if I pay you more or, or I'll work fewer hours? Now, it's not the money. Now, you know me better than that. I can't do it without you, Dorothy. Good Lord, I can't believe I'm going to go along with this. But I'm doing it for you and for Annie, not for her. Where is she? Upstairs. Come in. No, thanks. I'll wait out here. Would you come in for just a minute? I'd like to talk to you. Sit down. How about a cup of coffee? Look, what do you want? I'm trying to be nice. Right. That means you want something. What? What is it? Would you just sit down for a minute? Look, it's obvious that you and I don't have a lot in common. Except one thing. We both want what's best for Annie, right? This is a long story. Okay, I'll make it quick. The way I see it, you don't have two dimes to rub together. You don't seem to have any family, and you're living in a flop house. You don't have very much going for you right now, do you? Yeah, well, I, I got one thing going for me. Even you don't. I'm getting my kid back, so you want to bring her? I want you to move in here with us. Here in this house? Here in this house. I don't need your charity. This isn't about charity. You need a decent place to live, and I need to be with Annie. You're crazy. Well, maybe so, but you're crazy if you don't take me up on it. I can help you with your medication. I can get you medical care through the hospital. You can forget about clinics. You'll have a home. My son, David. Uh-huh. David, why don't you show Linda where everything is? I'm going to go put some dinner on. Uh, I, I'm not hungry. Well, maybe the rest of us are. This used to be my room. I've pretty much cleared everything out. Oh, except for the fish tank. I'm gonna need an ashtray. I don't think my mother wants anyone to smoke in the house. This'll do. But I'll see if I can find one.
wouldn't do anything. What do you want me to do? I'll be reasonable. somebody else to expect me to give myself up. Why not? It's a far, far better thing than I do in the old limelight than follow the kids. Uh. Dorothy. What is it? Give me an iced tea, will you? I don't see an anchor on your behind. The kitchen's that way. <laughs> ah, come on, Miss Annie. Now let's put these away and go someplace where we can breathe. Lighten up. She's fine. My mother smoked all the time when I was a kid. Didn't hurt me. Right. You know, she gets to know you a bit better if you can play with her a little. She was fine playing by herself, okay? Here, what's that she's got? What on earth? She just found these on the floor. Now, what's the matter with you? Why don't you just leave an open can of beer on a night table while you're at it? Look, I don't need this from you. And take your mess with you. You're the maid. You deal with it. Tab, that's where you're mistaken. Let me tell you something. You better start minding your own business. You don't like the way I live? You keep it to yourself, or I'll take my kid and I'll be on my way. Still up? What's the matter? Am I reading too loud? I just thought you might want to tuck her in. I think she's had about enough of me for one day. Your ashes. I hate to bring this up, but Dorothy told me about the matches. Oh, please, what does she do? Make a list of my sins and report them to you at the end of the day? You just have to be careful around Annie, Linda. She picks things up, she puts them in her mouth. You, you can't leave things lying around like that. I think you should fire Dorothy. Oh, you do? You don't need her. I can take care of Annie. Besides, all she does is rag on me right in front of the kid. It's no wonder she's afraid of me. She's not afraid of you. She just has to get to know you. She's not going to, as long as Broomhilda keeps sticking her two cents in. Why do you keep acting like everybody's out to get you, Linda? We're on your side. We're trying to help you. Yeah. We're all friends to the end. As long as the end comes pretty soon, right? Look, I'll try to smoke outside, okay? I'd appreciate it. Look, I'm taking Annie for a checkup tomorrow. Would you like to go with us? Is it early? Noon. Think you'll be up? We'll see how I feel. Hi, Susan. Hi, Jason. Hi, Annie. Jason, I want you to meet Linda Marston. Oh, hi, Linda. Excuse the glove. Any fevers? Very mild, and only when the ear acts up. Oh, good. Well, we finally got the protocols for the P24 test. I think we should just go ahead and do it. We'll look right at the virus, not just the antibodies. Okay. We know the drill, don't we? Can I have your arm? Oh, Annie, you have spoiled me totally. There we go. That's it. Right there. It's a little stick. Good girl. Look, if it's none of my business, just say so, but I was wondering what happened to Annie's father. Dead? Oh, dear. You must have some family. What is this, the third degree? Sorry. Can I push her? Sure. I, 
I have a mother. I hadn't seen her for a long time. Oh. How about you? My parents are still alive. They don't talk to me, though. They disowned me when I was pregnant with David. How come? We weren't married. Where is he, the father? What is this, a third degree? Oh, he finally married me, but he didn't stay around very long. It's not husband material, I guess. Hey, let's try the slide. Oh, come on. Let's go try the slide. I'll show you how to build a house. A house out, out of these blocks. Okay? Um, no, no, we're not gonna play with that right now. Let's, let's, I will And look at me. We're gonna build a house. Mom. Great big block house. House of, house of blocks. Annie? Yeah, Annie, you're not, pay, pay attention. Look at me. No, I don't, I don't want to play with it. You're not listening to me. You're not paying attention! <coughs> Linda! Hey. What's wrong with you? You don't yell at a child like that. She won't listen to me. <coughs> don't ever lose your temper at her again, ever. I just wanted to play with her. <sighs> She's just a baby. <coughs> what is wrong with you? She doesn't know you. You have to give her time. Well, I don't have time. Don't you get that? I don't have any time. It's all right, baby. It's late. Yep. Don't you ever take a break? No such thing when you have kids. I'm sorry what I did to Annie. I guess I don't know too much about kids. Maybe you ought to try and learn. Why did you come back, Linda? Why after all this time? I guess everything I ever did my whole life, I fouled up. I always took the easy way. Guys, drugs. I wanted to try and do at least one thing right. One thing that I could point to that was good. So I got clean, I came back for try and be some kind of mother to her for whatever time I have left. Whatever time she has left. Maybe it's too late. Maybe it's not. Just be patient with her, Linda. She'll come around. I'll try. I guess I'll say good night. Good night.
promise was that I'd try. Oh, is that all you can say? I didn't promise? You practically burned the house down and us along with it, and that's all you can say? I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry's not enough. I said it was an accident. Did you ever have an accident, Susan? Besides, you ought to be happy now. You have another reason to treat me like dirt. Treat you like dirt? I've been trying to make you a part of this family since you got here, Linda, and you fight me every step of the way! You watch every move I make. I, I never have a moment alone with my own kid. All day long, I've, I've got Dorothy looking over my shoulder. All night long, I've got you. I feel like I'm on parole. But I left you alone with her yesterday, and look what happened. I knew you were going to hold that over my head. Why do you have to make me feel so guilty about everything? <laughs> Don't you think I feel guilty enough? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I know. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. It's a beautiful day, and we should all be outside enjoying it. Maybe Miss Annie and I will take our lunch in the yard next. <laughs> all right, what did I miss? Nothing. Everything's fine. All right, everything's grand. Here's one you might like. Come on, Eddie. Let's you and me shake a leg, okay? Let's show these people how to have some fun. Yeah. I want you to know. Yeah. Look at you. Go see Dorothy. Are you coming to dance with me? Look at yourself. You no, no, get, cheer up. Get away from me with that thing. Here we go. You ready? Smile. Smile. Oh, you oh. 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 You want to take her? Yes, yeah, sure.
Mom, it's me. I'm done hang up. One beautiful kid. You know that? I know you probably can't understand a word of this, but I want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry what I did to you. I'm, I'm sorry for what I gave you. I wouldn't hurt you for anything in the world. I deserve what's gonna happen to me. You don't. I'm so sorry. It's ready. Is that it? I don't add water? Anything? No. I think you just stir it now. When I was growing up, I never knew any guy like you. <laughs> Is that good or bad? No, I mean it. And the guys I knew, they were always in trouble. Well, they're all in jail. So, how did you turn out so... so good? I don't always think I'm so good. You know what I mean. I don't know. I guess I'm just lucky. You're lucky you had a mother like that. Oh, I can't believe you guys cooked dinner. I'm very impressed. I don't know if you could call it cooking. It was more like he opened the jars, I boiled the water. Well, it was delicious. And there's enough to last the rest of the year. Now, we're off to have our bath, so we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you're off to do your homework. I get the hand. Good night. It's nice cooking dinner with you. You need this? Guess not.
my mother. Did you call? Oh yeah. What happened? Nothing I didn't expect. She didn't want to talk to me. What if I called her? No. No. Why not? Because it wouldn't do any good. I could try. I'm gonna call her. Mrs. Marston? Uh, my name is Susan Lansing. You don't know me, but I'm... I'm taking care of your daughter. Yes. Yes, she's been living here with me. Look, I, I know there's been some trouble between you, but... What? Oh, all right. Just a minute. Okay, go ahead. But don't you... What did she say? She, uh... She gave me the name of a funeral home. Dear old mom, always thinking ahead. I'm sorry, Linda, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, don't be. That, that's just the way she is. That's all. Thanks for trying, though. When did you call her? Last night. I don't know why, really. I, I guess I keep looking around for some kind of forgiveness. I keep telling everybody how sorry I am. I guess I thought maybe she'd finally let me apologize. Isn't that stupid? Don't beat yourself up. Maybe she just... Just what? You know, when you told me your parents disowned you, I couldn't believe it. I mean, what more do they want? You're such a... a good person. You're such a... good mother. How could they live out their lives without ever knowing you? Without ever knowing David? I'm, I'm sorry. I know. It's okay. I just wish my parents could hear you. I wish they'd hear me. I wish they'd forget. You know, the only good thing I ever did in my life was have Annie. Even then, the same time I gave her life, I gave her death. I, I don't expect anybody, much less my mother, to forgive me for that. But you know something? She never even gave me a chance. I guess I'm the one that's gonna have to forgive her, huh? Then I'm gonna have to forgive myself. You know something, my head is killing me. Let me give you something for it. No, thanks. 
I'm just gonna say goodnight to Annie and go to bed. Besides, I'm dying for a cigarette. Good night. Let me know when you get the pressure. Then I want you to draw me I some more. I, I got something to say. This IV pump is broken. Can we get another one? Work in the IV. Then I want you Listen to, draw to me. Can everybody hear me? We hear you. I only want to say this once. I know I'm probably not going to walk out of here. So I'm telling you right now. When it's my time to go, you better let me go. I don't want any machines breathing for me. I don't want anybody pounding on my chest. Just let me go. Everybody understand? Make a note on her chart. Do not resuscitate. anything? Sure. You know, if I beat this thing, I'm going to do what you did. I'm going to go to school and get a job and make something out of myself. There's no way I can beat this thing. I hope there is. You have a lot to give. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I never said goodnight to Annie. I'll say goodnight for you. Stop that. It's your day off. You should rest. Gotta stay busy. Did the hospital call? No. <clears throat> Jason. Oh, I had to see you right away. What is it? I couldn't do this over the telephone. Oh. Remember the P24 we did on Annie? Yeah. Well, I got the test results back this morning, and then I checked it again, and then I checked it again. And? Annie is no longer testing positive for the HIV antibodies. Her other blood test came up negative as well. I checked it three times, Susan. I don't understand, Jason. Okay, okay, let me explain this. When Annie was born, she tested positive for the HIV antibody, so of course we assume she was infected with the virus. You know, especially because of her low T cells and her infections. What are you saying, Jason? I am saying Annie does not have the HIV virus. I, I spoke to a colleague of mine who's studying this in New York, and he's coming up with the same thing. In some cases, the child only gets the HIV antibodies from his mother, but not the infection. Nobody knows why this happens, but in some kids, it does. You're telling me that Annie's going to live. Susan, I don't get to say this very often, so let me savor it. Annie does not have the HIV virus. There's no reason to think she won't live a normal, healthy life.
What's wrong, Mom? Wait here. I'm not getting a pulse. You can start CPR. Need a milligram of epinephrine. Dr. Riley. Susan, you shouldn't be here. What are you doing? Try to save her life. What the hell do you she think I'm doing? She didn't want this. She had it written in her chart. I haven't even seen her chart. We'll she didn't it to her. want to be brought back. If she can be saved. Do you want me to let her die? Do you? She's stable. Welcome home. Oh, it's good to have you back, Linda. It's good, good to be back. Where, where's Annie? Oh, she's taking her nap. Uh, would you like me to bring her down? No, no, I, I want to go up and see her. With her. Can you make the stairs okay? I'll be all right. I want you to know something. Um, you gave me the first home I ever had. Um, I never knew it was supposed to be like this. Thanks for letting me have it. Sleepy head. 
have a great life. Live it for me. Would you like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? There's a cab outside. Okay, it's for me. I can't stay. What do you mean you can't stay? I have to go. What are you talking about? Well, you don't have to go anywhere. Well, you have everything you need right here. Please don't fight me on this. I'm not strong enough to take on the both of you. You just have to let me go. Go where? I found a hospice. It's a good place. Decent people. Not as decent as you, but... Don't do this. Don't leave us. Don't leave Annie. I have to. I don't want her to watch me die. But this is your home. Susan, if this is what Linda wants, we have to let her do it. It's the right thing. When she's older, you'll tell her how much I loved her, won't you? I won't look back. It would kill me to look back.
wave goodbye to your mother.